No way. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> hey, they're on. See that? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Basically what I'm doing with these two batteries right here, I'm just basically just doing this. Just do like that. It's just the same thing. Positive with the negative, so it's in series right now. Oh, that looks promising. But I need to find a good connection. Promising? 2.36. So I wonder if it'll light up that little thing. This little array. So I just have to hook up the little wires. If this lights up even just a little bit, I'll be ecstatic. There we go. I think this will work better. <clears throat> okay. This is just extending one of these wires so I can reach it. No way. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> hey, they're on. See that? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And they're supposed to be flashing. But they just need more power. Set this other battery on top of the... of there. There's a rested on there. I'm just doing just a quick little test. I'm not setting it up really. I'm just... So if this lights up brighter, then we got something going on here. Oh, look at that. I saw some of it. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Look at that. Well, look at that. So the connections are kind of loose, but you can see it working. I mean, that's, that looks brighter. So if I can get the connections really nice and hooked up really strong, then I know that this thing will work a lot better in there. So this thing works. It's confirmed. This is something that I know you can do on your own. You could do it within a couple hours, including going to the store and getting and coming back. So it'll take less than an hour to put this stuff together and you could test it and put a little light on it. Or if you have a multimeter, you could put that on there. It's been a month since I have gotten back to this experiment. It's still 1.1 volts out of this one. This is the pure cement. This one's a little less. I put a mixture of stuff in this one. This one's even less. This this held a volt before. And that's probably because the plates are kind of coming apart. I bet if I put water on that, it'll increase in voltage right away. So I have a little bit of distilled water. And just watch, it will connect with these plates better and it'll increase in voltage. So we have 0 0.084. So I'm gonna Put some water on this and I bet it's going to just increase. It might even go back to a volt, I don't even know. So already it's at 0.8 holds voltage still. I noticed that when I made these two, I got a volt out of each of them. I still have a volt out of this one a month later. This one, if I made it better, I bet I could still get a good almost a volt out of it. I just wanted to make it smaller 
to see if it'll still hold the volts just the same as these. And right when I first made this, it held a volt. So I just thought I could just make a whole bunch of them in series. So this one alone is 0.32 and then connected with this one in series it's 0.4948. A pretty good charge out of this. I've seen other people make stuff like this. I just wanted to confirm that it's true. So you'll you'll find a lot of videos about this. Cement batteries and pop cans, different configurations of batteries, uh, earth batteries in these ice trays. And I'm going further with all sorts of different ideas. I think that's pretty remarkable that I was able to at least get a volt or any anything out of it. And it's still holding that charge. And the challenge is to get it to flow, get the get the amperage up. And so that's what I'm gonna do next. But I was it I was at least able to get the LED lights to work. And that's what I was going for with this video was if I can get the lights to flicker a little bit then I know you can get power out of this. And it's pretty simple. I mean, you, you could just get this material in your house, in your garage or wherever it is. And if you need some copper, just go to a train track, take some copper pennies from 1982 or earlier, put them on a train track and you got your free copper. Well, at least it cost a penny. And I'm really excited that I was able to get it that far so I'm going to keep going with this and with all the other experiments I do. This is key in our survival right now is that we figure this out. And we're get, we're going to have to do it on our own because they're not going to show us how to do it. Just have to pick up the clues, figure it out for ourselves, see if it works, and then take off with your own ideas because your own ideas are going to be key. I can't do this on my own. This is going to take years for me to just do this on my own. I was able to do it faster because I watched other people do it. But you have to watch out for the hoaxes out there. They're trying to throw us off with all this crap information. But if we take the things that we already know, then we can go forward with it and imagine like a child with your imagination. We have to purge everything we know, everything we've been taught, and then we have to just go back to our elementary school years and just wonder about stuff. And so we already know a little bit about it and we can just take off with our imagination. Undo what we've learned and then learn again.